be named interim head coach it was a truly an amazing feeling uh, as being an alum of the program. This being my 25th year coaching, it's truly an honor to take over this program. Uh, I'd like to look forward to maintaining the tradition of hard work and competitiveness that this program is known for. Our alumni meet last weekend was a really great event. We had over 80 alums who were there. And then if you include husbands, wives, kids, boyfriends, girlfriends, well over 100. They came from all over the country, Boston, New York, the Northwest, Hawaii. Um, for them to come back is always a great time. It's uh, really a great event. And on a personal note for so many of them to offer me well wishes as taking over the program was really, really uh, incredible. Last year, both the men and the women won the SCAG championship meet. The men were the overall conference champions. And with the change in the scoring this year, the greater emphasis on the championship meet, the goal is to, once again, try to win that meet and to win the conference championship. One of the key newcomers this year for the Stags, Michael Wagenfeld. He's an excellent pole vaulter. He also played soccer for the Stags in the fall. I mean, a number of distance runners who helped out greatly in cross country, uh, Hunter Olson, Kevin Wong, uh, Alex Mitchell, just to name a few. The key newcomers for the women in the sprints, Brina Jablonski and Tyra Abraham in the middle distance races, uh, Anna Cameron Lewis and Bryn McKillop, and then the throws, Emily Bassett. We have a number of conference champions returning this year. Um, on the women's side, Hannah Tarleton in the 400 meters. Amy Holschweiner won the 400 hurdles last year. They also both ran on the winning 4x4 with Alex Arnett. Uh, so we returned three of four from that team. Five of Palunas won the discus. On the men's side, Evan Molino was a double champion last year. He won the 1500 and the steeplechase. Uh, Sam Perella won the hammer throw. Matt Wong won the, the triple jump. And in addition, Justin Jones and Matt Espy are former conference champions as well. A number of big meets on our schedule. The first one is going to be here in a couple weeks. The Rossi Relays home meet for us. A number of athletes from uh, across all NCAA divisions, uh, one, two, and three, as well as NAIA schools. Um, for the distance group in uh, March, we'll have the Occidental Distance Carnival. Uh, we'll have uh, three conference dual meets, uh, a couple in March, one in April. The Mona Pitzer Invitational will take place in April as well. Some of our top athletes will compete at the Massac Relays. And then uh, it'll culminate for the entire team at the conference championships, which is the first weekend in May. And then uh, for some of our, again, for some of our top athletes, the Occidental Invitational the following week.